This is not okay. This needs to stop now. What's up, guys? Nathan Bennett, episode 61. Um, I may be a bit less energetic uh, this episode, or this episode may be a bit shorter, because I actually got my wisdom teeth removed a couple days ago. So, I'm on a lot of pain meds right now, and the pain meds also make me a bit drowsy. And it's also like 9 in the morning, and I got work in a couple hours, so we're going to try and make this quick, and hopefully I don't fall asleep from my pain meds. But I got some lo-fi in the background. We're going to have a fun episode. As you could probably tell by the title... The March Madness Brackets are finally open, and every year, of course, I do my March Madness Brackets, but I like to have a little fun with it, right? So, this year, I'm doing something that I think is an original idea, and I think you guys will find fun. So we have the bracket here, but I also have these wheels, as you can see. So basically, I'm going to make four brackets. I'm going to make my actual bracket. I'm going to do this quick bracket down at the bottom to see what kind of bracket it makes. I'm going to do a bracket where I only spin this top or bottom wheel and choose whichever one it lands on. And we're going to do a bracket where we have the wheel uh, pick who's going to win from each matchup. So... Let's go ahead and get started because, again, I'm going to try and kind of speed run this because, unfortunately, I got to be at work in a bit. So let's do a quick bracket first and just see. Do I want random, popular, weighted by seed? Let's see what autofill does. Auburn and Houston. How many total points will be scored? Let's do 100 and 125. I think each team's going to score about 60. All right, and we're back. So now we're going to go down the list, and we're going to spin this top or bottom wheel. And each time we're going to pick which one it lands on. So for instance, Yukon versus Stetson. Now, obviously, I would take Yukon here, but the wheel is going to tell me that I got to pick Stetson. Fantastic. So then we're going to continue to do this for every pick, and we'll see how bad our bracket gets. So, bottom once again. Okay, we're going for a lot of upsets here. Top, San Diego State, the one that I had winning it last year. Ooh, bottom or top? Looks like we're going with bottom. Okay, another upset. Yale over Auburn. Uh, my bracket's already fucked. But again, this is why we do this. It's fun. We want to see how messed up we can get the bracket. All right, we're going top, BYU. Let's see, is Illinois going to win this one? Yep, Illinois is going to take it. All right, Washington State versus Iowa. Washington State and Iowa, let's go. Ooh, is it going to be top? Nope, it's bottom. Okay, Drake's going to take it. Alright, Iowa State. Let's move on to Houston and Longwood. Looks like Houston's losing. Once again, fantastic bracket.
Nebraska's going to win. Okay. I actually would have taken the bottom on that one. Bottom once again. Okay. Bottom. Top, Texas Tech. Ooh, what's it going to be? Top or bottom? Ooh, just barely top. Okay. Going to take Kentucky. Take Boise. If you guys want, I will leave a obviously a timestamp in the description for what the outcome is, but I'm just recording all of it so you guys know I didn't cheat. So. All right, top. You got UNC in there, that's good. Top. Bottom. Bottom. Ooh, top or bottom, what's it gonna be? Right on the line, bottom, okay. Now this one I actually want bottom because I want it, I want Colgate. And of course it gives me top, okay. Actually Baylor's not a bad pick. Is Purdue gonna win it? No, they are not. Gonzaga is not going to win, bro. What? All right, we got top. Kansas. I'm okay with Kansas. Right on the line once again. It's bottom. Oregon.
UVA. I'm okay with UVA. I have my UVA shirt, uh, I think, etchy in the laundry right now. I would have worn it, but... I had them, uh, I had them in my bracket for the last time they won the championship. So I actually ended up winning my bracket. Oh, we forgot, we forgot Creighton. Okay. Bottom, bottom. I gotta re-roll St. Peter's. Because it was bottom for Akron, bottom for UVA, and then... Okay, so we're taking Tennessee. All right, now we go back up. Let's see who makes it to the Sweet 16. Once again, another, or actually no, this isn't an upset, Northwestern. See, this is where it can actually get good because some of the, the bottom seeds may be, or some of the better seeds may be on the bottom. And of course, as soon as I say that, Yale takes SDSU. I feel like we've gotten way more bottoms than tops. Longwood is making a run, it seems. Alright. Bottom. We go top for this one. All right, marquee. And then for the total points, we'll do like a random number generator or something. Bottom. 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 Ooh, bottom again. Okay. Bottom. Akron making a run even though they don't got LeBron anymore? Okay. Alright, top. Alright. Let's see who is going to win the Sweet 16. Bottom. Yale, 13th seed. Okay. <sighs> Top. Illinois. Bottom. 
bottom. Bottom again. Bottom. Bottom. Top. Ooh, right on the line. Top, okay. Almost into the final four. Top. Top. Yale and Vermont in the final four. What the fuck? Top. Oop. Wrong button. And bottom. Wow. Okay. We got four double digit teams in the final four. Let's see who wins this. Charleston in the final. Okay. Sure. All right, bottom. Last one. Let's see who wins. Charleston is going to win it all. And by how much? Let's do like 65 to 180. 82 okay so for audio listeners yukon doesn't make it out of the first round fau doesn't make it out of the first round auburn doesn't make it out of the first round washington state doesn't make it out of the first round florida doesn't make it out of the first round duke doesn't make it out of the first round wisconsin doesn't make it out of the first round houston doesn't make it out of the first round St. Mary's, Alabama, Clemson, um, Arizona, UT, Creighton, South Carolina, Gonzaga, and Purdue all also do not make it out of the first round. And in the final four, we have Yale, Charleston, Vermont, and Akron. With Charleston winning over Akron in the final with a total game score of 82 points. Fantastic. Let me go ahead and put all this in real quick. All right, 
let's create another bracket now so we're gonna get rid of this top and bottom one so the way this one is gonna work is I'm gonna spin this and whichever one it lands on first we're gonna put in the final four because I have four wheels here right so whichever one these land on is gonna be the one in the final four and then when I spin it again that will be the second place in the elite eight and then second place or like third place in sweet 16 and so on you'll get the the hang of it as we as we do it so all right so from this conference who is going to make it to the final four san diego state let's go my boys all right so we're going to basically just pick san diego state all the way to the final four so now who's going to be second place Iowa State okay so where is Iowa State here it is so now we're going to pick Iowa State all the way until here and then I need to remove it And then more head. Okay. Yukon. Okay. Good. So then we pick Yukon to go up against San Diego State. Oh, wait. I forgot to remove Yukon. That one doesn't count. We gotta re-roll. We gotta re-roll because Yukon was still in it. Alright, Auburn. Or remove Auburn. Northwestern, okay. Drake. And then all that's left is BYU or Dunkston. So we can remove all of these. Alright, it's going to be BYU. So that's basically how this is going to go, right? So now I'm going to keep this wheel and add San Diego to it. Please be Houston or somebody good. Texas Tech? Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. And then I got to remove... I gotta remove uh, North Carolina State as well. Because they're out. Florida. And then we will move boys as well. My phone keeps going off. Sorry about that. Oakland. Duke. Okay. And 
and then we can that means we can remove Vermont as well James Madison okay Marquee and then Wisconsin can also be taken out of here We need Houston, Longwood, Nebraska, and Alabama. So these two can be taken out. Houston, let's go. All right. Now it's between Nebraska and AM. Alrighty, and now we can add Texas Tech. Arizona's going all the way. And who are they matched up against? Long Beach. So I can remove them. Powag is going to beat North Carolina and go all the way to face Arizona. Baylor, okay. Top seeded team. Going up against Arizona. And that means that we can remove Colgate. Grand Canyon. So we can remove St. Mary's. Alabama. Gonna lose to Grand Canyon. Clemson against Baylor. Michigan State. All right, now it's Dayton versus Nevada. And Nevada is going to take that one. And then Arizona gets added here. <sighs> Creighton, okay. Not bad, not bad. 
And they were up against Akron. So Akron can be removed. Gonzaga next. Okay. Not bad picks. UT. Okay. Another solid choice. They're against UVA. Kansas next. Okay. And they're against Sanford. St. Peter's or Purdue? Looks like Purdue. TCU against Utah State. Oregon. Alright, who wins between Tennessee and St. Peter's? St. Peter's. Alright, so now we can go add Creighton to here. And spin this. San Diego's taking it all, baby. Let's go. All right. And then who between Texas Tech and Creighton takes it? Creighton. Okay. And what will be the final score? 133. Not, not bad, not bad. So once again, for audio listeners, we spun a wheel with all of the names for each conference in it. Our final four is San Diego, Arizona, Texas Tech, and Creighton. We have San Diego winning over Creighton with a total game score of 133. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and submit this bracket, and then I got to head to work. So whenever I get back, I will do my actual bracket, um, and we'll see how that goes, and that'll be fun. So, um, I mean, for you guys, there's just going to be a cut here, so you guys won't have to wait. But I will see y'all later. Peace out. All right, I'm back, guys. Let's quickly make my bracket, which should be exciting since I got some other stuff that I got to get done today. Um... Here we go. I had some other stuff I was going to talk about on the podcast episode today. Like, there was one um, person in women's basketball who I believe was in high school who got one of the first quintuple doubles of all time, which uh, was exciting. But we'll probably talk about that in another episode because I'm going to quickly do my bracket. And then after that, we will... um, call an episode so uh i'm obviously gonna take yukon i know a lot of people have them in the championship um i'm gonna take a and m over nebraska actually let's let's look at the stats here i want to look at defense two and four conference nine and nine 
Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to take Nebraska. They got better defense and better offense. Let's take Wisconsin, Duke, Texas Tech, Florida. Who we got with Drake? Drake has better offense, but worse defense. And they're better in the conference. Versus top 25, though. Yeah, let's go with... Let's, let's go with Washington State. We'll go with FAU, San Diego, my boys. Um, I gotta have at least one upset in here, though. So I gotta figure out who that's gonna be. You know what? I'm going to take Yale over Auburn. I'm going to take Yale over Auburn. BYU. Let's see. Opponent points per game. Ooh, they're tied. They're tied in the conference. Okay, let's go them. Illinois. Illinois. Iowa. Hundred points per game. Yeah, let's go Iowa again. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take ISU. Houston. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have go for a while because I've been. I've been actually keeping up with Houston. And I think that they can they can definitely go for a while. Let's go Kentucky. Actually, let's look at this first. Opponent points per game, conference versus top five. Okay, if Oakham wasn't 0-1 in the top 25, I might actually take them, but... Texas Tech versus Kentucky. Okay, I'm going to have to take Kentucky there. And then Marquee. This one should be pretty easy. Yeah, let's take Marquette. Florida versus Marquette. Uh, I'm actually going to take Marquette here. They lost to Purdue. They lost to UConn. They lost to Creighton. Okay. This one's a hard one. Okay. I might come back to this one later. But I think Houston's going to beat whoever they play anyway. UConn easily. San Diego State are my boys. Let's see how they're doing. You know what? I'm actually going to take Yale again. Yale. And then UConn beats them. UConn. All right, let's move down here. Mississippi versus Michigan. Yeah, I've been watching Michigan State lately. Let's take them. North Carolina. Um, St. Mary's versus Grand Canyon. The 
That's a good opponent points per game. Yeah, let's take St. Mary's. Oh, Alabama has a crazy high points per game, so I gotta take them. They're pretty even, actually. So I'm gonna go for the upset to make it fun. Baylor and Colgate. Versus top 25. Hmm. This one I'm also going to come back to. Because most people would say like, oh, Baylor's a three seed. But Colgate could, could do it. I'll take Nevada for the upset. Arizona versus Long Beach. Okay. I'll take Arizona. But it could be that could be a close game, to be honest. Tennessee and St. Peter's. You know what? St. Peter's was a dog last last uh, tournament. Let's give it to him again. I'll go UT, even though I like I like UVA to be honest. So I'm actually gonna take St. Peter's again, cause look at look at. Uh, Texas look at Texas versus top 25 actually let's take UVA over Texas because of that Creighton and Akron these are actually kind of close let's go Creighton though This could also be a close one. Let's go South Carolina just to be safe. Samford could upset. But Kansas is a blue blood. Hmm. I'll come back to that one. Ooh, McNeese could upset as well, even though Gonzaga, or Gonzaga's only a fifth seed. They're usually one of the higher people, but Gonzaga's dropped since they lost Chet. Ooh, this is really close as well. But U, USU is 14 and 4. So, I'm going to go with them. And then Purdue here. I'm going to go Purdue again. Okay. Now we got to go back through all the ones that I skipped. I'll take Kentucky. And then, oh, I didn't do any of these yet. Yeah, UNC. St. Mary's versus Alabama. This one should be pretty close. Yeah, I'm going to take St. Mary's upset. 
simply because of their defense. Their defense is incredible. And I think they can even upset UNC. St. Mary's is my San Diego State of this year. San Diego State, everybody doubted me because they made a run based off of their defense. I think St. Mary's can do the same thing this year. I'm going to go Colgate on this one. Let's go Colgate again. Arizona, Arizona. St. Mary's Final Four. Let's go. Kansas versus Sanford. They're seven and four versus top twenty-five. Let's look at their their last couple games. They lost to Baylor. They lost to BYU. But they won against Baylor and Houston as well. Fuck it, let's go Sanford. No, Kansas is a blue blood. Let's go Kansas. But I'm going to go McNeese over Kansas. And then Purdue. Creighton versus South Carolina. Fuck, this one's hard. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go this Creighton. All right. Let's look at this actually. Yeah. Okay. And then Creighton versus Purdue. We'll go Purdue again. And I think UConn takes this. Purdue versus Houston is going to be crazy. Yeah, Houston's defense is going to take that. And then UConn's going to take this. And then I think they're both – I think it's going to be like one, 127. Because I think Houston's going to score like 65 or something like that. No, they'll keep – Houston will keep UConn under 65, and then Houston will score – like another like 60 so like 62 so that'll be 127 so all right i'm gonna go ahead and submit this and uh we will call that an episode guys um i hope you guys enjoyed the little roulette action um i thought it was a cool idea and an original idea and it was fun so let me know what you guys think and also vote on uh, what you think of my bracket as well on my community page. And that being said, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.